Hello, my name is Patricia Kopp. I work as a product manager in the business development for vacuum components at Schmalz. Today I'm going to show you how to program a vacuum ejector S6PI. The S6PI is especially for handling airtight workpieces under extreme conditions. The ejector serves the vacuum supply and the vacuum monitoring in automated systems. The S6PI is mainly used in vacuum systems in press lines for handling sheet metal. The ejector allows pick and place applications with very short cycle times. Before using the ejectors, please read the operating instruction carefully and keep them for later reference. Before programming the SXPI, I will explain you the single control elements. The display provides information about the system vacuum. The single operating elements are used to go through the menu. At the end of the control panel, you can find the status indicator and the valve status indicator. The throttle screw for blow of volume is on the front part of the ejector. On the back part, you can find the electrical connection. Now I will show you some functions of the compact ejector S6PI. Upon delivery, the air saving function of the S6PI is already activated. By pressing the menu button, you can configure the single switching points for the air saving function. For changing the value of H1, please press the enter button. By pressing the up and down button, the value can be individually adjusted to the requested value. To confirm the changes, press the enter button. The value blinks for a few seconds and switch to the next switching point. Now you can adjust the other values like switching points of the signal output, the blow of time or the pressure monitoring. After changing the value successfully, press the menu button to leave the main menu. To deactivate the air saving function, you have to get into the configuration menu. Press and hold the menu button for more than 3 seconds. Choose the menu point CTR by pressing the up or down button and confirm it with the help of the enter button. Select the value OFF and confirm it by pressing the ENTER button. The value blinks for a few seconds. After that, you will be back in the configuration menu. You can leave the configuration menu by pressing the menu button. In the operation condition blow off, the vacuum circuit gets interrupted by compressed air. Through this, a fast vacuum reduction and a quick depositing of the handled workpiece is guaranteed. The operation condition blow-off can be selected internal or external. To adjust the blow-off function, you have to get into the configuration menu. Therefore, press the menu button for more than 3 seconds. Choose the menu point BLO by pressing the up and down button and confirm it with the enter button. You can choose your required value and also confirm it by pressing the enter button. The display blinks for a few seconds and you will get back to the configuration menu. To leave the configuration menu, press the menu button. To adjust the blow off time, you have to get into the main menu. Press the menu button and choose the menu point TBL by pressing the up or down button. Confirm it by pressing the enter button and adjust the blow off time with the help of the up or down button. Confirm the adjustment by pressing enter. The display blinks for a few seconds and you get back into the main menu. To leave the main menu, please press the menu button. The ejector has six integrated counters. Half of the counters can't be reset through the complete lifetime of the ejector. To read out the counters, you have to get into the system menu. Press the up and the menu buttons for more than three seconds.
The values CT1, CT2 and CT3 are temporary counters and can be reset. CC1, CC2 and CC3 can't be reset. To reset the temporary counters, choose the menu point RCT. Press the Enter button for more than 3 seconds to confirm. The display blinks for a few seconds and the counters are reset. To leave the system menu, press the menu button. With an integrated pressure sensor, the system pressure of the ejector can be continuously measured and can also be compared to the limited operation pressure. The unit for the vacuum and pressure value can be set in the configuration menu or with the help of IO Link. Press and hold the menu button for more than 3 seconds to get into the configuration menu. Choose the menu point Uni and press the Enter button. You can choose between three different pressure units. Choose one of the units and confirm it by pressing the Enter button. The display blinks for a few seconds and you will get back into the configuration menu. To leave the configuration menu, press the menu button. Now you know how to program a vacuum generator SXPI. Thank you very much for your attention. Further information can be found at www.schmalz.com.